what we do here is go back, 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 back. Good day everyone, I'm Jeremy, I'm from Survival Showcase, and today we're taking a look at the 75th anniversary of the Buck 119 Special. Okay, so a quick little unbox here. Uh, basically, everybody that buys the Buck knives knows what their boxes look like. Um, on the outside, this one's a little different. It features this little silver uh, sticker here that says 75, uh, 1942 to, to 2017. 119 special, so the 75th anniversary of the 119 special, and they put a little sticker on there to signify that. Uh, details a forever warranty right here, which uh, any defects in craftsmanship, workmanship, anything like that, buck covers 100%. They do not cover uh, misuse or inappropriate handling of the knife. So opening it up, there's a couple cards in there, knife and sheath. Looks pretty already. First card is just a little message from the Buck family. And then on the back side explains the forever warranty. And then this card here is about the 75th anniversary 119 special model. So I'll let you guys read up on that stuff. So right away in the sheath, you can see right here, we got an embossed 119 special 75 here on the front. And over on the back side, we got a 119 embossed on the back. We have a really nice uh, belt loop right through here. And it's uh, fitted on there with some little rivets into the leather. The leather uh, sheath is made in Mexico. The knives are 100% made in America. Nice retention strap on there with the knife in there. It's not going anywhere. Pull the knife out, have a look at it. Uh, on most standard buck knives, they have a, a year dating system down here. This one here features, uh, it says buck, and it has a little anvil with the 75 in it, and then USA right behind that to signify that this is a special model. Really nice brass bolster on the back here. Beautiful handle, feels really nice. This is a Coca Bola diamond wood grip. Uh, it has a little uh, medallion inlay that says 1942-2017. It has the Buck 119 knife pictured in there and a 75 year. Really nice job on this knife. Beautiful grind on there. You can see the grind. Very, very thick piece of metal. Overall, I think this knife here is going to be an excellent knife for bushcrafters. Uh, campers might want to consider this as well. Um, you could also use it as an EDC knife. A little big for me for my EDC knives. You know, I like pocket clip knives for my EDC knife, but uh, some people, if they want something a little bit bigger, a little more meaningful on their side, depends what they're doing, right? This might be the knife for them. So definitely though, I believe that this is a perfect knife for a bushcrafter. The blade is made of a 420 HC uh, steel. And what the 420 is, it's a little different than just standard 420. The 420 HC is a higher carbon. So the HC stands for higher carbon. And what that enables them to do is to bring this to a little, little more of a hardness than your standard uh, 420 steel. Uh, this goes to a Rockwell test of 58. So it's been tested to a Rockwell hardness of 58. It's a clip point style blade on there. Overall though, that is a beautiful feeling knife for the hand. You know, you're gonna grab on there and for the size of my hand and the size of the knife, I think it's a perfect fit. You can choke right up on there and handle that thing no, no problems whatsoever. So the overall blade length of this knife measures five and three quarter inches. The overall handle length of this knife measures 4.58 inches. And that gives us roughly 10.35 uh, inches of knife overall. The thickness of the blade is 1.76. So that's a pretty decently thick blade on there. My final thoughts on this knife, if you're an EDC or bushcrafter, uh, camper, you want to consider this knife, especially if you're the uh, uh, bushcrafter, I think this is an excellent choice for you out in the woods. Uh, you'll be able to do a lot with this knife and have a lot of fun with it. Camping it may be a little heavy for for weight wise, but it, it's not too bad. It depends what you're doing. If you're a light camper, you won't want it. Uh, if you don't really care, you want a good knife with you, excellent choice. EDC guy, if you want a nice, nice flashy knife to put on your side, this is for you. Okay, that's it for tonight guys. Smash that like button. Don't forget, subscribe and share this video. See you in the next one.